Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here back again with more Blind Gaming and more Abandoned Bunker for the PC of course. And we're here in the really weird facility that we found. It's definitely a bunker. Um, we escaped two monsters already. One was a mysterious big monster that was fairly quick. Covered in a, like a sheet with blood all over it like one of the experiments that was haunting the bunker and then we met the shadow guy that silently moved and looked like he warped around and he had red eyes and the, the music was truly scary when he popped up and it freaked me out but we got out of there I don't know how I did notice there is a cheat mode if you guys get stuck because it is quite a maze um, luckily we didn't need it so without further ado, let's do this. I'm afraid he's just going to appear in the shadows. Distance radio tower. If I climb it, might be able to see where I am. Okay. Where is this tower? Unless that's it, but... One of two. Okay, so it's just the story of this guy who was given a job to watch videotapes and who looked the most dangerous. So is it, I could probably climb down, but I don't know the way back. And would not want to get lost in the woods. Yeah, from what you've seen already, More of like a drop. I don't think you could climb down that. Like, where's this radio tower? That is definitely not a radio tower. Is it over there? That's not one either. And we found notes one of two. I'm curious if there's going to be another monster. Okay, we can go this way. Or that way. No. Yeah. I was already quite the urban explorer. At first it was just a ROC. Okay. Okay, maybe that's the way I actually need to go. So let's go the opposite. The place must be huge. Wonder what it's all for. Some sort of experiments. Oh god, it's really dark in here. I don't want to stay in the shadows at all. Well, no is not in there, so at least I didn't see it. But I am blind, you never know. Oh, er. oh I thought I saw it for sure. My my peripheral vision vision plane tricks on me. Alright, let's go upstairs here. Anything? Nothing. When I saw the area had been blocked out on Google Maps, oh, I got very interested. That's why it looked weird when you started the game. It had like a Google Map view and then there were parts blocked out. Okay. Made him wanna do the exploring. This is the radio tower. I see. Er, er. So there's a bunker there and nobody have explored it yet. I just, it just seemed. Okay. I did not know this would happen. Okay, whatever. I keep seeing a piece of paper for a note, but it's just my eyes playing tricks on me. So we got to climb this and take a t that cable car to the secret bunker, according to the last note. I mean, we can't find the note in here, the um, the second note. Then we're up Shit's Creek. If I climb this tower, I might find a way back. So this is just about finding your way back. Okay. 
I'm not doing this. I just clicked it. We're going pretty high. Kind of reminds me of Far Cry. I had um, played a little of Far Cry 1 because I, uh, I had purchased Far Cry 5 and I never played any of the others. So I was playing a little 1, 2, 3, and 4. And Primal. And those games are so big giggity but I really want to beat them all and I'm not sure let me know if you guys want to see me do all the Far Cry series it'll be quite a series no idea how to get back can't even see the road yeah we're way out I should probably climb down now uh, I don't want to climb down. Holy crap. Oh, holy, holy F word. Oh no. Okay. Lost glow stick. Press F. Oh no. Camera flash. This is what I got to do. All right. We got to have the monster kill us. Oh, my eyesight does not like this guys. Ooh, it's hurting. This, this probably affects my, any game, any horror games. They have a camera flash like this. Um, not good for my eyesight. Oh boy. I hope we make it out of here, actually. I don't want to come across the monster. Am I going the right way? Oh, there's a door over here. Okay. Is there a door? Come on. Oh. Oh. Oh, we found light. Ah. Uh, I have to let the monster kill me, though. Because you guys like to see that so much, right? Maybe if we wait here, he'll just pop up. I know the way, though. I think I can remember the path. Where is he? Where are you? I don't dare turn around. What does the monster look like? I heard you grumbling. Uh, I could just... Oh, God! <laughs> It's an inflatable enemy. Ah, that's so hilarious. That is extra cheesy. What is it? It must be a reference to another game. Okay, I swear to God, if I get caught here, that's just how it works, right? You're like, oh, well, we'll just do the monster. And then I'll just peel right through it, right? And then it doesn't work like that because he keeps rng I hear him too. I think it's a left up here. I think. Oh god. I hope I remember. Go through this doorway and then take a right, right? Oh god. Yep, here we go. Please don't get me. And there's gotta be notes in there. Oh, we did. That wasn't so bad. Okay, after watching over a hundred hours of random movies and TV shows, I watched a tape called Mr. Boogles. It was that who just killed us? Which I then showed to my boss. He said it was the perfect video and I could watch the construction tomorrow morning. Construction of the bunker? So Mr. Boogles, that's who that was. Power still on with a question mark. Oh, because this has been abandoned for so long. Or so they, I think. Well, here is all five. We actually found all of them. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read each one, kind of give you guys a recap, unless you can read them right now. Okay, so this is kind of like the final memoir of that person that we were uh, reading the notes of in the game, you know, up to this point. So basically his boss uh, took him in to see this constructor and the constructor um, used the videotapes that he chose to create the creatures 
to really create them. And they were supposed to be intended to be used as uh, army uh, bioweapons. And uh, yeah, they got out or the a creature got out and killed everybody except him. He ran off and uh, wondered if they were ever going to, you know, what happened to it and if it was ever going to be used for good. That's pretty much what the story, you know, said. But we got a videotape here. Let's see what this shows. Oh, boy. So that was a shadow guy. Yeah, he was the scariest, I think. It's that noise when he spots you and appears. That's the scariest. So we're in a government-funded facility. Oh, that's been abandoned. Is this the constructor? Is that what's in there? They said it, it moves like a printer. I wonder if that's a constructor. So we're going to put a tape in, and it's going to make the thing, and it's going to come get me, isn't it? If that happens, which it probably will, we will see what it's like to die. I'll run a little bit, but I'll, I'll let it kill me. Ooh, that's got white eyes. Oh, it's going to make that? Ooh. Oh, I don't know where to go, actually. Ooh. Oh, we got a door. Let's run a little bit. Just a little bit. Let's go left. Let's go left. It's pretty awesome, actually. Is that him? I think we went around in a circle. Oh no. All right, here we go. Music time. Buckle up, buckaroos.
Dr. Boogle. Here we go. This was the toughest one, especially not knowing what way to go there for a little while. I made like, it's just like one turn. Okay, so we're in this bunker. It's all exploding downstairs. Let's get out of here. Let's look behind us. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, goodbye, good riddance. Okay hey guys, so that was the abandoned bunker for the PC. Um, overall, very well done. Very, very well done. A little video issue, but outside that, very well done. For a free horror game, it was on top of my list. On the very top. Just with the top, let's say top five. This was definitely up there. I don't know where I'd rank it, but uh, personally, for a free indie horror game, it was scary. It really was scary, and you died a lot. I think I died a total like six times, um, including my purposeful deaths. We got really lucky on the shadow guy, uh, finding the way out. I have a feeling that that part will stump a lot of people. That bunker must be very, very deep and very mazy. But um, the cheat um, solution is pretty nice. When the game crashed on me at the final boss or final monster, um, yeah, it was annoying to come back, but it wasn't excruciating, excruciatingly painful. With the cheat enabled, it showed me where to go, and I could literally run, and I encountered zero monsters. So it was really good. Y yeah, of course, it's RNG. None of them spawn in front of me, but... I think there's a timer and a random a random spawn point, but I'm not really sure. Good music, good ambience, um, 
just overall really really good game so I'd recommend this check it out um, in the link below if you guys uh, find a different ending or whatever I'd be interested I definitely would play this again and uh, I should check out this developer and see what other games they've made or maybe they're gonna you know add on to this but like comment subscribe share and or donate guys until next time as always later <laughs>